Good evening, everyone. I'd like to welcome everybody to the village board meeting for October 24th. Excuse me. Excuse me. We we'll have we started the meeting. Again, I'd like to welcome everybody to the October 24th village board meeting. At this time, I'd like to ask everybody to please stand for the pledge and then remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay, we're going to start off with the administrative business, so I could have a motion to accept the minutes from our meeting held October 10th, 2019. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Jess, could you please read abstract number 10? Abstract 10 contains vouchers 19-0798 through 19-0874 and totals $387,681.01. Thank you. Motion to approve abstract number 10. I'll make the motion. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve fire department equipment request 2019-17 totaling approximately $1,447.44. For the purchase of three scanners for each chief vehicle, these will replace older, outdated models in the vehicles. I'll make that motion. I second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. There is no old business. On October 17th, there was a press release from uh, Senator Scoofus's office demanding that a train station be a condition of approval for the Woodbury Common expansion. All the usual suspects, County Legislator Lori Tattel, Woodbury Supervisor Frank Palamo, Harriman Mayor Steve Welly, join in demanding the same. I find it troubling that these elected officials who took an oath to uphold the laws of the state of New York would direct people to violate those laws. Even more disturbing is that for the second time, Senator Scoofus has implicated the village of Woodbury Planning Board into his differences with the Woodbury Common. The Planning Board is a volunteer position that is difficult enough without being dragged into his political escapades. For him, it's a political ploy. For the village of Woodbury, it's a lawsuit that we ultimately lose. I find his actions to be irresponsible and disrespectful to the planning board, to the village board, and the people of Woodbury. I'm not against the train station at Woodbury Commons. However, as it stands right now, a train station at the Commons would have little impact, if any, on reducing traffic. A train station at the Commons should be considered once we have a two-track system allowing trains to go north and south simultaneously and a one-seat ride into Penn or Grand Central Station. Also, if the station predominantly services the commons, the entire cost to build the station should be incurred by Simon, not by the New York State taxpayers. At this time, I'd like to read a letter from the Planning Board Attorney. This is addressed to uh, Senator Scoofus. Woodbury Common Expansion Application and Senator's demand for the new MTA train station as a condition of the Planning Board approval. Dear Senator Scoofus, on behalf of the Woodbury Planning Board, I am responding to your press release dated October 17, 2019. 
This will also address your prior letter of December 8, 2018 to the Planning Board to the same effect. In your press release, the prior letter to the Planning Board, you request that the Planning Board deny Woodbury Commons pending application unless it agrees to allow and largely fund a new MTA train station off-site of the Woodbury Common property. As you ought to know, it would be illegal for the Planning Board to do what you demand under both New York and federal law. I will advise the Planning Board that if they follow your illegal direction, that they will expose the village to a substantial liability. You tout that you have secured $5 million in funding for such a train station project. As you are well aware, the cost of such a train station project will likely exceed $20 million, and such a project would require the Woodbury Common owners to transfer their own property or provide an easement over their property to the MTA. Under federal constitutional law, if the Planning Board were to follow your directive, it would be construed as an unconditional per se, taking under the Fifth Amendment. Also, New York land use law prohibits the planning board from withholding or conditioning an approval unless and until such an off-site improvement of a state authority's property is included in a project by an unwilling applicant. <coughs> Perhaps most insidious, however, is your suggestion echoed in your replace press release by the present town supervisor Palermo that the planning board has the power to deny an application whether by Woodbury Common or any other property owner in Woodbury, regardless of an applicant's right under state and local law, simply because you believe that the property owner should fund and transfer a private land interest to a public project. The planning board is legally not allowed to be swayed by the political interest or generalized opinions of others. The planning board must fairly consider every application before it, review and analyze its impacts, and act in accordance with the law to approve, deny, or approve with conditions that are lawful. The planning board cannot do what you demand to suggest otherwise wrongfully puts the planning board in the role it cannot legally perform. You are asking the planning board to act illegally. It is improper for you to do so. Respectfully, Richard B. Golden. Okay, uh, that concludes our business for this evening, so I'm gonna go out for public comment. Anybody in the um, second row? Anybody in the third row? Anybody, anybody at all? Okay. Rob, you have some announcements? <clears throat> On Saturday, November 9th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. at the Highway Department Garage, which is located behind the Hamos Library. We'll be hosting our annual um, electronic drop-off and shredding event. The hours are from not 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Thank you. Thank you. Andrew, you have anything? Yeah, I just want to comment on a letter to the editor that was um, on the photo news, uh, it, the title of the article is, it goes much further than just the cost. Uh, this is an editorial that was sent into the photo news, apparently by the Woodbury Town Board. Uh, I don't have any kind of statement to read, so I'm gonna kind of fly by the seat of my pants here and talk about how desperate this particular town board is, or at least some of these town board members, because I'd like to know when they actually voted to do this letter, and actually when they discussed this letter. So uh, in the meantime, I just want to talk about, uh, once again, another political stunt in a desperate attempt to get Frank Palermo reelected as supervisor for Woodbury. 
In their attempts in this particular editorial, uh, they try to paint a picture of a very evil David Sutz, uh, which is the furthest thing from the truth for me. David has been a, not only a former supervisor, but he's been an active member of this community for a very long time. Uh, whether it's been through his work with the Woodbury Community Ambulance or through the Woodbury Community Association, David has always been there for this community. Uh, I find it disgusting that the town board would stoop to these levels to de try to discredit somebody as David Sutz. Now, most of the stuff in this article is just not true, okay? It, it is a sort of um, retelling of the tale or the litigation that they're trying to twist. Uh, now, if you go through this article, you'll see that they're talking about instead of blaming themselves for suing the taxpayers of Woodbury, they claim that it's now uh, David Sutz's fault for suing the taxpayer that they sued the taxpayers of Woodbury to correct a clerical error. Okay, they made the decision and they're getting beat up about it and now what they have to do is desperately put out a letter like this. Um, once again, they mention the Attorney General's uh, letter that they sent in, or complaint that they sent in, which we answered two weeks ago. They could have easily saved the taxpayers thousands upon thousands of dollars if they had just, if they thought that this was this horrific, they could have just contacted the Attorney General there, okay? The bottom line is, this lawsuit should have never have happened. It should have never have have come down to that. It could have been handled with a phone call. Frank Palermo decided he didn't want to do that because what he wants at the end of the day is a million dollars. Okay, I need the people of Woodbury to realize that he wanted this lawsuit to go away if we gave him a million dollars. Now, I've said once before, that million dollars does not come out of our pocket. That comes out of your pocket as taxpayers. Uh, unfortunately, Mr. Palermo doesn't care where the money comes from, just give me the money. In the meantime, I'll say it once again, a desperate attempt to discredit somebody like David Sutz and put the entire blame for their decision to sue the taxpayers of Woodbury on David Sutz. It is this type of politics that we need to avoid here in Woodbury. Um, we are a small community, and with these elections like this, it shouldn't be this, this dirty, okay? And it has been. Okay, I had the supervisor's wife claim that I live in Highland Lake Estates and that the entire village board is going to, we're going to take over the village board and then we're going to turn the roads into uh, village roads and cost the taxpayers millions. I, I'm just done at this point with this type of politics. And quite honestly, this type of dirty politics happen every year when Frank Palermo is involved. Okay, that is the connect the dots here. It is Palermo and it is the Democratic Party of, of Woodbury. Not Democrats, but Democratic Party of Woodbury. This type of low brow, disgusting political nonsense, okay? So we're gonna get a statement out about this because like I said, I'm pretty teed off about it, but to basically throw David Sutz under a bus and put out all these falsehoods is just wrong. And that's it, Michael. Did they sign that the town board or did they sign it individually? It's town board. They didn't even put individual names here. So I don't know which town board members that is. Was it a well, majority? It was all of them. Well. And you know, okay. Hey, Suze. Fortunately, this, this is the time when it gets really nasty because we're so close to the end. And everybody wants to win, which is fine and all. But at the end, all of us are going to have to pay for that. All the residents, and we also have to live with each other. How are you going to try to move Woodbury forward, or hope Woodbury and all, if all, all we can do is divide each other and fight over nonsense? If you have any questions, if you want answers, we tell you all the time, especially as GNG team, I've said it a million times. You want to come, we're here Fridays, we're here 
you make an appointment, you come in, we'll meet with you. I'll talk to anyone about anything. You don't want to talk politics, fine. Come and talk about whatever. But if this, these are the stuff that are bothering you, you go on Facebook and you expect answers, demand answers, well, come and meet us face to face. Like Frank Palamo likes to say, if there's a problem, make an appointment and meet with us. We say the same thing. Make an appointment, meet with us. Same thing we could have done with the, when we had the town and the village board. Should have sat down and tried to hash this out before it got any worse, and everyone has to pay for it. Every person is paying out of their pocket to continue a lawsuit, which is not gonna gain anything in the long run. The million bucks he's asking for is gonna go from one pocket of Woodbury to the other pocket of Woodbury. What did you achieve? To make lawyers rich? Hey, they'll continue this lawsuit as long as you can. They're making the money regardless. The only ones losing are all of us. So you have the right to vote whatever way you want. When I say one party's better than the other, please come out and vote. But also use common sense in knowing that we are trying to unite everyone and help as much as we can. And if we don't have the answers for you, we'll try to get them. And that's it. Thank you all for coming out. Safe home. Tom? No comment. Tim? Yeah, I got something to say. Uh, throughout my adult life, throughout my life, my entire life, I've always strived to act professionally, ethically, and honestly. And I'd, I'd like anybody to point out when that hasn't been the case. I've never brought election politics to this board. I've always maintained a professional approach and kept politics out of our deliberations or out of our, out of our comments or out of my public comments at this board. I read something a little while ago that absolutely needs to be addressed. And I'm, I'm gonna quote one sentence from an article that Bo Haviland, excuse me, a letter that Bo Haviland sent into the Photo News. It says, Mr. Egan was recently deposed in the current town village lawsuit stating that he voted for whatever Mr. Queen and wanted without even knowing anything about it. That is an outright lie. That is wrong. That doesn't, this is the kind of thing that turns good people away from being a part of the political process. This is the kind of thing that makes people not want to come out and vote, not want to come out to board meetings, and not want to participate in local government. That is an absolute lie. I can't share the deposition publicly or else I'd love to post it on social media so that everybody could read it. But we're in the middle of a lawsuit. It's probably going to trial because I've been told by several times that Frank wants this to go to trial. He doesn't want to settle this. And as, 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 as Andrew said a few minutes ago, he, the, his last demand from us, which proves the point, was for a million dollars. But I have never, ever, this is my sixth election in this village, and I have never attacked my opponents. I have never said negative or derogatory things about my opponents, either directly or via proxy, as the Democratic team is in this election. As I don't think anybody would disagree. This is the ugliest I've ever seen Woodbury politics. So you can believe me. You cannot believe me. You can vote for whomever you like. But do get out and vote. And I stand by my statement. Thank you. Thank you. Jess? No, thank you. Okay, I'll wrap it up. <laughs> uh, one thing Tim said is true. We, we try to keep our board meetings, you know, non-political. Uh, I responded tonight to something uh, Senator Scoofus did, and that's because he literally was uh, throwing our planning board under the bus and putting them in the middle of something they shouldn't be in the middle of. And basically, he was asking them to break the law. So we have to respond to that. Uh, when, I, when I sit up here and I respond to things that are said by the supervisor, it's because I have to respond because he's, he's lying about the village. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and let him, you know, make statements that aren't true. So, you know, anytime he says something about the village, I'm going to respond. You know, if he wants to, you know, I've asked him uh, several times, you know, about trying to resolve this. He doesn't want to resolve it, and that's fine. I mean, you know, talk about cost. It is more about the cost. Right now, the village is over $63,000 defending this. 
It's about the cost, Frank. Uh, also, the stuff they sent to the Attorney General, the stuff in their letter, that's their side of the story. It's not our side of the story. And you know, they keep running with this. They don't even know. I think those board members, it, it, it amazes me. They don't even know what they're talking about. You know, they, they put something in a letter about uh, Tim Egan here, you know, just voting for something he didn't know anything about. Well, the town board voted for the land swap, and they all in their deposition said they didn't know what was being swapped. So, I mean, come on here. Who, who's, who's lying? I could tell you this. It's in front of a judge now. We're going to let a judge decide it. And I'll tell you, if I was a member of the, Woodb uh, the Woodbury Town Board, I'd be concerned because we have proof that they lied on the oath. So that will come out in the trial. And that's why I can't wait. Like I said a few weeks ago, I can't wait for my opportunity to testify and us to tell our side of the story. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I mean, this is just a uh, political stunt that's Oof. Not sure it's, it's on. Thank you. Third mic I've gone through tonight. I, I mean, you know, but, you know, personally, uh, this is going to go on long after the election because I think there's going to be further litigation uh, privately uh, because of the slanderous remarks, the libel, and all the things that have come out of that board. And, and some of the people that support that board. I mean, uh, I'll be honest with you, uh, I never saw uh, politics like this before. Uh, it started to get like this in the last election. And, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, it's a shame that it's getting that way. I think we got a problem across the whole country where, you know, we don't talk, that we just attack each other. Um, I, I, I think what's going on in the country, I think eventually, this country is going to be in for a hard time. There's going to be unrest because, you know, our politicians in, in, in uh, Washington, D.C. Are, are disgraceful, too, the way they conduct themselves. I mean, it's ridiculous. They play politics. We have serious bills that would help the American people that they haven't even touched yet. Infrastructure mo uh, money or projects. The uh, USMCA uh, agreement, uh, you know, uh, drugs, you know, uh, prescription drugs. These are all things they could have done. I mean, they're on the table, you know, and, and we're still suffering. The people of this country are suffering because they, they're too busy fighting each other to get these issues resolved. I mean, we, we elected these people just like we're elected to do the best we can for people. And we have, we have a federal government that's broken, tremendously broken. It's ridiculous. And, and, and it's trickling down now. And I mean, I see it here in Woodbury. It's disgraceful what I see here. And, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, you know, everybody should come out and vote. It's a very important election. Uh, I, I think it's obvious. I could tell you this. Um, there's no more, uh, I mean, if you want to compare the ethics about some of the candidates, let me tell you something. David Sutz is one of the most ethical people I've ever met. So, you know, they are attacking his character because they are so afraid of him because he is a stand-up guy, and this is the only way they can beat him. So, you know, enough said. I think David has, has going to have to respond to this, and uh, that's all I really have to say. However, there's a couple of things I want to mention. I just want to mar remind the residents that in Districts 5 and 6 that their location of vote has changed. District 5 and 6 will now be voting in a recreation building. I think the proper name for it is the Community Center. Wo Woodbury Community Center at the Res, which is 3 Sid Felter Lane. Basically, you, you go into the Res as you would be going to the parking lot there by the uh, pavilion, but you follow that all the way around and you go past the hockey ring and there's access to a, a parking lot there and the building's right there. So it, it's... It, it's not that it's not hard to find, but you might be a little confused if you've never been to the res and it's the first time you're going in there. So uh, just try to be uh, conscious of that. Early voting starts Saturday. So again, remember District 5 and 6, their location has been changed to the Woodbury Community Center at the res. 
Uh, with that, I have nothing else. So may I have a mo motion to adjourn? I'll make that motion. No, second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Thank you and good night.